morning. Uh, my presentation will be on the same line as the previously one. Uh, I will focus uh, on the space-time dynamics of the nerotization uh, in the Western Mediterranean, mainly through, through radiocarbon data. Okay. Yes. It is obvious that these data play a major role in research focusing on the Eurasian agricultural transition. And since the years 2000, one can observe an increase in the number of statistical analysis of the geographic distribution of the radiocarbon data. These different works try to understand the nature of the Neolithic transition and the respective weight of demographic, social, and environmental variables in the diffusion of the first farmers. Concerning the Western Mediterranean, based both on the study of the cultural and biologic system, it is now well known that the introduction of the farming in this area during the 6th millennium BC is mainly linked with a demic diffusion from Eastern and Central Mediterranean. The current dominant interpretation is that the first impressocardial farmers originated from the Aegean area expanding via coastal seafaring to Italy, southern France, and to the Iberian Peninsula, and bringing with them all the so-called Neolithic package. But a lot of questions remain open as the tricking diversity of cultural material or the difficulty to precisely provide dispersal routes. Okay. In this framework, high precision chronologies are essential for modeling the time space development of new techno-economic traits. My presentation will focus on a critical review of the available data and on a renewed corpus of dates taken as part as a, of the program project. Before presenting these results, few words about material and method. Concerning the general radiocarbon database, it contains, as of today, almost 1,400 dating from more, more than 300 archaeological sites. Each of these radiocarbon data has been audited according to different criteria. First, the nature of the radiocarbon event. Second, the archaeological link of each dating. The nature of the radiocarbon event is determined by the individual characteristic of each sample and can be of very variable duration. The reliability of the archaeological link is determined by a detailed review of the stratigraphic sequence of each site. By this way, a reliability index is attributed to each radiocarbon data. Only those dates that received an index of one or two are retained for the discussion. I will also say a few words about the renewed corpus of date taken as part of the PROCOM project. In this project, focusing on the southwestern France, more than 100 new dating were obtained on samples selected following a specific proto protocol. Based on, on an exhaustive review of the documentation, 24 case sites were selected. As explained before, sample selection was based on the nature of the radiocarbon event and its link with the human events that we wish to date. We were thus particularly attentive to the reliability of the archaeological context. For the issues concerned here, we privileged sites with a well-known taphonomic history and samples coming from an anthropogenic structure. Animal bones and charred seeds were preferred. I come back now to the old data set of the Western Mediterranean. As previously said, the database contains almost 1,400 dating, which are unevenly distributed between 13 countries mostly in France and Spain. Unfortunately, there are still wide regions with only dates made on long-lived samples or with a weak archaeologic link. Here in black and gray circles, for example, the entire uh, Tyrrhenian region here. And on this slide, we see that some regions are, as North Africa or Corsica are strongly lacking in reliable data. Finally, 
radiocarbon dates with a reliability index of 1 and 2 represent only 35% of the da data set. So let's now see what these data are telling us about the diffusion uh, dynamics of the Neolithic innovations in the Western Mediterranean. In order to respect the, limit, the time limits, I will focus on uh, some main results. So it is now well known that the first agropastoral economy appears around 6000 BC in southeastern Italy and on the Adriatic coast, and that all of the sites grouped under the generic term impressed ware represent the departure point for the dispersal. Unexpectedly, we can observe that in the same time range, sites of Liguria in North Italy and Languedoc in south of France uh, reveal the, the development of perfectly mastered exogenous farming economy. In a more detailed analysis, we can observe that the Languedocian data are even older than those of Liguria. Conversely, up to now, no dates made on short life samples are available for the Tyrrhenian region uh, before 5750 BC. These data, obtained from charred cereal seeds, show how early the Neolithic impacted the south of France, probably in connection with the maritime movement of pioneers groups at the very beginning of the sixth millennium. If these data confirm the very fast spread of the Neolithic economy, therefore, they diverge from the hypothesis of a progressive and regular diffusion. There is no confirmation of the wave of mo advanced model in the Neolithic space-time dynamics of the Western Mediterranean, which reflects more a discontinuous process. In the next stage between 5750 and 5600 BC, agropastoral economies are still rare in Western Mediterranean. Three sites yield dates in this range in Spain and Morocco, but each of those results are questionable on the base of the nature of the sample and its link with the human event to be dated. I won't do it in this presentation, but we can return that this stage needs to be more documented as it represents a crucial step to understand the spatial dynamics of the Neolithic diffusion in Western Mediterranean. In the next step, between 5600 and 5450, the cardial culture complex then becomes the vector of the full development of the Neolithic economy in a lot of the Western Mediterranean. And I would like to focus on two main points, the scarcity of data in southern France and the potential early continental pathway. In south of France, the examination of the newly occurred data show that this cardial culture does not begin, begin before 5100 BC on the French coast, calling into question the periodization previously established. This revision of the chronometric framework of the cardial culture thus raises several points for, the, for discussion. First of all, we must know that the, this uh, rejuvenation of the beginning of the cardial culture is clearly linked with the problem of dating on charcoal with old wood effect and high standard deviation. On the basis of this new data, we must underline that there is now a real chronological hiatus for a lot of south of France between sites with impressa facies and those from the cardial. Given the reliable, reliable data in a large part of southern France, no sites are dated between 5600 and 5400 BC. Two hypotheses can be advanced. At hypothesis one, this situation reflects an archaeological reality which could be related to the model of microbreaks observed in the Neolithic diffusion in Mediterranean at different periods and in diverse places. The reasons behind this break are still unknown for now. Hypothesis two, this situation only represents an artifact of research linked to a lack of data. If we broaden the focus to consider the data from Spain, we can observe that several sites yield date, 
dates ranging between 5600 and 5400 BC. However, the Spanish cordial is traditionally considered to originate in south of France. Can we thus consider that the chronologic gap mentioned above is just linked to the state of the art, or must we also call into question this alleged affiliation between the French and Spanish cordial? These questions remain open. Another observation that can be made on, on this map concerns a potential early continental pathway in south of Massif Central yeah, and uh, in the Pyrenees. It is traditionally accepted that the coast was settled on early by the first Neolithic communities, whereas continental and mountain incursions occurred later on. Among the new uh, data obtained within the PROCOM project, I will focus on the case of the site of Balma Margineda, a large rock shelter located in the Pyrenees at an altitude of almost 1,000 uh, meters. New dates obtained on charred domestic seeds and hazelnuts show that there is only a very short gap between this site and the well-identified site on the coast, not a long time lag as has been previously argued. In the same line of thought, we observe that among the earliest cardial sites from the south of France and the northeast of uh, Spain, those of Baume de Monclu here, etc. Baume de Monclu, Baume de Lins, Baume de Rons, or Cova de Chaves give among the earliest dates on domestic samples. Yet, these sites are located 100 kilometers from, from the present day shoreline. These data contrast with the model of a diffusion of the Neolithic economy strictly linked initially to the Mediterranean coast. On the contrary, interland exploration seems to have been early. These audited and renewed data highlight a complex and far less unidirectional diffusion process than considered so far. But we have seen uh, with the presentation of the data set and because of the lack of reliable data, uh, have we have seen, it is obvious that we are working with piecemeal information. By this way, it seems clear that the radiocarbon data cannot alone describe and analyze such a complex phenomenon. In this context, I would like to highlight that in-depth analysis of the technical and economic system can also act as a high resolution proxy for the trajectory of the first farmers. To illustrate this point of view, I will uh, very briefly take two examples. Studies based on pottery manufacturing and their decoration show that the expansion of farming in Western Mediterranean was not an homogeneous process linked with a single social group. By this way, it is possible to highlight the diversity of the Neolithic pathway at the beginning of the sixth millennium, diversity of cultural histories that is not yet accessible via, via the radiocarbon data. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, the other example concerns North Africa. Uh, as previously seen, very few radiocarbon data are available to integrate this wide area in the global reflection. However, the lithic industries as the ceramic productions show evidences of integrations between the two shores of the Mediterranean during the 6th millennium BC. Again, these fundamental questions cannot be addressed for the moment through, for, for the, moment through the radiocarbon data. To conclude, I can say that the renewed data for the Western Mediterranean bring to light complex and much less unidirectional and regular process of diffusion than considered up until now. Also, this view as an area of fast spread of Neolithic innovations, it seems possible to observe local variations in the speed of diffusion. Maritime diffusion can, for example, be marked by pause intervals, whereas mainland settlement may have occurred early on. Like all the data used for the prehistoric archaeology, the radiocarbon dating cannot be studied solely for their intrinsic value. In this way, if we superimpose data from 
the characterization of technical system with these audited radiocarbon data, it becomes possible to bring to light complex and multifaceted processes of emergence and development of the Neolithic economy, and then to provide a much more informative historical narrative. Thank you. <laughs>